My name is Alex. I'm a registered music therapist. We use music in a, a range of different ways in order to support other people in terms of their well-being. So that might be helping them with their speech, helping social relationships. Yeah, music therapy sessions is a big part of, of my job because that's where we see the biggest gains and, and, and biggest growth. So come down the hallway um, to one of the cool parts of our centre, which is our music therapy storage cupboard, um, which has, I believe there's over 500 instruments. This is a storm drum. Okay, I have a didgeridoo. Unfortunately, I don't know how to play it, so sorry, Australia. The client that I'm setting up for at the moment, who should be arriving shortly, um, his name is Aiden. And what that involves is really trying to think about Aiden and what instruments he finds the most inspiring. He's now getting to the point where he's starting to sing some of the songs. So it's a really great way to work on verbal expression, helping his language in requesting songs. It's such a common thing for music therapists to see a child do something for the first time, whether that's trade smiles with their parents, because they're both realising that they're playing the same drum beat. Just special things happen. We complete an undergraduate course in music or health science. Then we do postgraduate studies, which would be a master's of music therapy or equivalent. So that's a two year postgraduate course. Um, I'd started uh, studying psychology and then I found out about music therapy through a friend. It just merged perfectly in terms of what my interests were in terms of supporting others and helping, but also loving music and being able to use my skills. Yeah, it was a bit of a light bulb moment. If you're willing to be working with people um, for your whole week, then I think that's, that's a great profession and a good choice.